looks like things are heating up. Team Riverside can't roll like that. Total train wreck. So saw that one coming. Why don't they just work together? They are totally friends. I wonder if we would ever turn on each other if we got the chance to be on that show. Funny you should say that. Join us next weekend when we roll like that for charity and come to you from the newest, most rockin' theme park, Polyworld. What? <laughs> so get ready, Miss Marklin's class. Miss Marklin's class? That's us! Park. And the competition will end with the live finale where we'll see if you can roll like that. You were holding out on us. I was sworn to secrecy. We're spending a whole weekend at Polly World? We're gonna be on roll like that? We're gonna be sharing airspace with Donovan Ware? <laughs> hey, Samuel. I see you spread the good news. Hmm, buttery. Okay, class, here's the low down for the charity Roll Like That, which counts as your community service project. You'll all go to Poly World on Friday and divide into teams of five, then stay for a full weekend of competition. I'm chaperoning, so if you need anything, just ask. How about FaceTime with Donovan Way? <laughs> Don't forget, everyone, I need your Poly World permission slips. It's not fair. We'll be on national TV, which would be the perfect place to showcase my mad skills and skyrocket me to the most popular girl in school. But no, Polly has to be there. The show is taping at Poly World. Exactly. How come Polly gets her own world? Why can't Roll Like That film at Beth World? Um, because there is no Beth world? It's that kind of small thinking that keeps you the 24th most popular girl. How perfect is five to a team? We can all be together. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I get to be with all my best friends, too. Just like you. <laughs> It'll be me, Tori, Evie. Yeah. And Carl and Lark, my two new best friends. Great. Good luck this weekend. Ugh, did you hear that? Sounded like she was being nice to you. Exactly. Because she knows that'll get under my skin more than anything else. She's insidious. Mark my words, we'll demolish her on roll like that. Cool. But, um, Beth, since when are Carl and Lark our new best friends? They're exchange students. They don't even speak English. They speak some. Tell them what I taught you. Beth is better, better than, than the poly. poly. Oh, I love you guys! Dad, hey, I had to call you. Everyone is so psyched about this weekend. We can't wait. You rock, Mr. P. <laughs> see? I can't wait to see you. What? A big surprise? But we already get to be on our favorite TV show. What could be bigger than that? <laughs> okay, I'll wait and see. Love you. Another surprise? What do you think it could be? No clue. I bet it's huge, though. Polly's dad does not disappear. So, the spectacular scale for the weekend? Off the charts. You guys, how many people do you think will see us on TV? Um, the world? Everyone watches Roll Like That. Which means we have to look monster good. S-Man? Fashion in a flash. Follow me. Welcome to Polyworld. You guys, feast your eyes. No way! Wow, jaw fully floor bound. Score one for the Poly World. The tallest, fastest, pretzel up your gutsest roller coaster ever created. What do you think, girls? Do we dare? Um, actually, ring it. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to roll like that? Don't wait back at him. He was 
waving at me. I can't believe Donovan Ware is right in front of us. I just want to talk to him. I know exactly what I'd say. Hi. Uh, um... uh, great. Well, that went well, don't you think? Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Great. <laughs> okay, everyone. Welcome to Roll Like That Charity Edition. First thing, see all the cameras around? I do. I made a list of a few angles at which I look my best. My favorite is the over-the-shoulder hair flip winning smile combo. Note. This is that world. Ignore them. We want you to forget they're even there. Forget what's even there. Exactly. Each team gets a PDA with an interactive map of Polyworld. Whoa, cool. Clock, a scoreboard, cell phone, a global positioning device, and full IM and internet access. We're connected. So get ready to use your brains, your talent, and teamwork to compete in challenges set all over this awesome new park. The winners get incredible prizes, plus $100,000 for the charity of their choice. So let's start it up. Load your team names into the PDA. Team Pocket, great. Team Thrash, yeah. Team Lightning, yeah. Team Twister, and Team Beth. What was wrong with Team Fuzzy Little Bunnies? What? I like the sound of it. And now get ready to experience the ultimate theme park shopping destination, Polly World. <laughs> Checking it out from the top of the Polly World. Yes, let's do it. Sure, sounds like fun. Now, the first thing we do is check into our hotel rooms. This way, please. Aw, I was so stoked to ride the Polly World. Relax, Chrissy. We know how much you're looking forward to it. Don't worry, we're here all weekend. <laughs> Great. Someone made a mistake. I wonder who got our room. Tempting offer indeed, but I believe you have an appointment. My dad! I got a jet. Catch you guys in time to change for dinner. Hello, Polly Pocket. Welcome to the Sky Lounge. Sweet. You can't sneak up on me. I'd know those footsteps anywhere. I thought I had you that time. <laughs> Never gonna happen. So tell me, what do you think? About Polly World? Dad, it's amazing. It's beyond amazing. And getting role like that to shoot here with my class? Oh, the whole thing is monster fabulorific. Uh, I'm happy with the way the park turned out. And even happier that you're here with me. Wouldn't miss it. Even without the show. 
Or your other big surprise. Ah, big surprise. I thought you might be a little curious about that. Try a lot curious. Nothing could be bigger than the weekend already is. Polly, you know I want to give you everything in the world, right? Sure. And you do. Couldn't stay away a minute longer. I had to know what she said. A actually, she... Uh, Polly! <laughs> it is such a pleasure to finally meet you in person. I want to hug you, but I don't want to force the new mom thing. But honestly, your father has shown me so many pictures of you, and we talk about you so often, I feel like we already know each other. I'm sorry, the new what thing? Honey, I... Um... Oh, John, you haven't told her. I'm so sorry, I thought... Well, this is awkward. Polly, I want you to meet Lorelai, my fiancé. Wow. So you're engaged. What do you think? Um, uh... John, don't put her on the spot like that. She just met me and I'm marrying her father. I'm sure she doesn't know what to think. No, I, I do. I just have to think about it. When's the wedding? We haven't set a date yet. Maybe summer. Oh, but summer's so far off. I say, why wait? We know we want to get married. Let's do it right away. Not that we don't want you involved, Polly. Of course we do. Maybe Polly and the Pockets could play at our wedding reception. Maybe they could. Oh, what am I saying? Of course your band can't play at the reception. You'll be in the wedding party. You'll be far too busy. Doing what? Wedding party things. Besides, your friends will be our guests, and we don't put our guests to work. Hey, really? Yeah, I'll be right there. Later. That was Lila. We got a clue at the bungalow. Uh, will I see you at the opening banquet? We'll be there. Wouldn't miss it. I almost forgot. I bought this for you in Italy. <gasps> it's beautiful. I saw the charms in this stunning little boutique, and they just spoke to me. I had the bracelet made just for you. Guitars, because they're your instrument, and five of them to represent you and your best friends. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Go get him tonight, sweetie. Thanks. Sweetie? when the PDA lit up and told us to check our freezer. Which had five popsicles inside. Eat up. So, how was your dad? And what was the big surprise? Was it stellar supreme? Sort of, I guess. He's engaged. Your dad's engaged? That's really sweet. Isn't it? Maybe. I mean, she seems nice enough. But then she starts calling me sweetie and hugging me and trying to act like she's my mom. It just feels weird. Recognizing major trauma, but must pause. Loving the bracelet. Did your dad get you that? No, actually, it's from Lorelei. She got it in Italy. She said the charms spoke to her. Okay, generous shopper, great taste, and speaks jewelry securely on the pro side. Cons? Does general skin crawling goose flesh vibe count? Completely. Anything else? How about she doesn't want Polly in the pockets playing their wedding reception? She says since you guys would be guests, it would be wrong to make you play. We can be guests at the wedding? That would be pretty fun. I bet a pocket wedding would be ginormous. Maybe we can be your co-bridesmaids. Hello? Missing the point? I'm not. This woman could be with your dad for the rest of your life. If you don't like her, living nightmare. Exactly. Thank you. But you said she was nice, right? Yeah, totally nice. But still... Master plan. Let us check her out. If she passes with us, you'll know she's cool. And if she doesn't, you can tell your dad she's got to go. You gotta stay Kula. I know, you're right. But my dad just sprung this on me and... Kula? That's what it says on my popsicle stick. I don't get it. Wait, mine says something too. Cause you ain't no fooler. Stay steady and woola. Kick it old schooler. Hang on. You're in the hula doula. Hula doula? Random. <gasps> Unless... That's the name of our first roll like the challenge! Holly World Hula! We know where we're going for dinner and the opening ceremonies. The 
Polynesian paradise. Dress accordingly. We can handle that. I'd like to make a toast to a wonderful weekend. Cheers! Cheers! I don't know about you, but I feel like fishing. So, Lorelai, tell us about yourself. What would you like to know? How about... Mm, everything? Oh! <laughs> well, uh... Aloha, contestants! And get ready to <laughs> roll like that in the hula doula! I have no idea how to hula. Me neither, but it looks like fun. For this contest, you'll need skill, you'll need coordination, and you'll need a grass skirt. So get on up here, get dressed, and start learning how to hula. Hey, look at Veronica. Lila, you're not hulaing. I can't. I'll look goofy, and we're going to be on TV. Everyone will see. Don't stress it, Lila. <laughs> we'll all look goofy together. So just chillax and have fun. Okay, I'll try it. Eh, training time's up. Once the music starts, you gotta keep hulaing no matter what. Stop and you're out. Last team with a member still dancing wins. Ready? Let's roll! <laughs> Hello? You're in my hula space? Let's make this a little more interesting. Looks like the surf's getting rough. Good thing Carl and Lark are new best friends. Mad ball skills. Great job, Carl and Lark! In our country, this is very big sport. <laughs> you're doing great, Lila. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but you're having fun, right? Yeah, I really am. That's all that matters. Go, go, go! We're down to the last two contestants. Could it possibly be a tie? No way. I wasn't voted best spirit dancer in the cheer squad for nothing. You're going down, girl. One, two, three, and four, and five. I'm the one who will survive. Will all the rest admit defeat? I'm the one who can't be beat. Yay, me! Duck. That's it. Our winner is Team Beth. <laughs> and Beth, as a special prize for winning this contest, your whole team gets a free afternoon swimming with dolphins at Fountain Falls in the Polyworld Porpoise Pond. Congratulations! Oh, thank you, Donovan. Thank you very much. There's someone very near and dear to my heart who deserves a special shout-out for this win! Beth, baby, this one's for you. Sorry, guys. I should have won it for you. Are you kidding? Lila, you weren't even gonna try it and you ended up in second place. That is huge! Polly's right, and it deserves a celebration. I'm thinking ice cream, a little shopping on Polly Walk, fireworks. Anyone interested? <laughs> oh, sorry, sweetheart. I have to take this. Catch up with you in a few minutes? Sure. We'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, I'm so glad you called. Oh, yeah. I met her. It's worse than I thought. And Polly's lovely. She's adorable. She's smart. She's talented. And her father absolutely lives for her. How am I supposed to compete with that? It is a competition, Vi. When Polly's around, she's all John thinks about. Actually, yeah, I do have a choice. I can get John to ship her off to boarding school. I just have to make him believe it's his idea, and he's doing it for Polly's own good. What? Okay, call me back when you can. Bye-bye. Oh! <laughs> Check you out, Mommy Dearest. Excuse me? Uh, look, I don't know what you think you heard, but... Um, cover up unnecessary? I hate her too. I won't rat you out. In fact, I happen to think your plan is mad brilliant, and I have an idea to help. Oh, that's cute. But I don't need a child to help me out. How about you run on back to your friends and forget this ever happened? <laughs> and miss a chance to send Polly Pocket to boarding school? The deal is this. I'm involved, or I spill what I heard to Polly's dad. Okay. 
Then, uh, what's your idea? Rule number one. Know your enemy. To find Polly's weakness, you have to spend time with her. Learn what she's thinking. Check it out. Ever had that perfect kind of day? Everything is working. No worries, we're having a fantastic time. Fantastic? I don't know, I don't see any bags. I thought you promised these girls some shopping. Next on our agenda? Hmm, I tell you what, let me lead the way from here. Come on girls, let's go do some damage. My pleasure. And Lorelai, you are my new fashion hero. I never would have picked out half of this stuff for myself. Yeah, yeah thank oh, you thanks so, so much, much Lorelai. Yeah, thanks, Lorelai. Happy to do it. I can't think of a better way to spend an evening. Neither can I. I've got my two favorite people in the world with me. What else could I possibly want? Polly, she seems really nice. Hanging out with her last night was a lot of fun. I know. But I still have that feeling that something's not right. Maybe it's just weird to see your dad with someone else. You know, not your mom? Maybe. She seems like she's trying really hard to be your friend. If you just treat her like a friend, maybe you'd like her more. What do you mean? Hang out with her? Yeah. Invite her to go out with us. Without your dad. Maybe get them an engagement present? An engagement present for my dad. Ugh, that feels so weird. I just wish I knew for sure that Lorelai was really good for him. You know, I wish I had some kind of sign. <gasps> you guys, I'm having the weirdest dream right now. That it's raining in our room? Me too! <gasps> room service. Huh? huh? I think you made a mistake. We didn't order room service. No. Roll like that ordered it for you. They got us breakfast? That's so sweet! What are we supposed to do with a bunch of trees? May you always see the forest for the trees. Enjoy! I bet this is part of a clue. And the rainstorm, too. What does it mean? Rain. Trees. And don't forget what the waiter said. May you always see the forest for the trees. So, rain... forest? Rainforest! <gasps> There's a rainforest realm in Polly World! Johnny, try it in the PDA! And that was it! We have to go to Rainforest Realm this afternoon for a river race. What should we do until this afternoon? I think I have an idea.
frightened to little Miss Perfect. Have you dug up anything that will help you get rid of her? <coughs> do you mind? I do. I mind that this weekend is slipping by and Polly Pocket has yet to have her whole life shattered. I mind that I am so close to all my dreams coming true and yet still so far away. I mind that... Um... How do you turn in this position? Lorelai? Lorelai? Couple skate, everyone. It's time for a couple skate. Oh, I love this. I can't remember the last time I was on roller skates. Thanks for inviting me, Polly. This was a really nice surprise. You're welcome. I thought it would be good to hang out, like friends. I want to be friends. It would really mean a lot to me. To your father, too. Maybe we should think strategy this afternoon. Beth's team already won one contest. She might be tough to beat. We can handle her. I know that look. Polly's having a major light bulb moment. Yes, I have the perfect plan for beating Beth. What does she love more than anything? Seeing bad things happen to you. Exactly. What if, during the next contest, you guys got into a huge fight with me? <laughs> like the total train wreck from last week's show? Beth would be all about that so all about it that she wouldn't concentrate on her own team and we could sneak ahead and win that's not just brilliant that's super genius brilliant yeah all right <laughs> all yeah right. what do you think lorelei i think it's a wonderful idea it's exactly the sort of thing that could work Hey, Team Thrash! I was afraid you didn't figure out the clue. The clue wasn't the problem. It was ten plates of loaded nachos plus seven straight backflips at the drive and dine skate rink. Nachos. Why must you tempt us with your cheesy goodness? Uh huh. Ooh, that'll make the river race tough. Good luck. In this relay contest, you'll simulate saving rainforest animals who lose their homes to deforestation. One at a time, each team member will grab an endangered leopard from this bin. Aw, how cute! Mm-hmm. And the stuffed animal's not bad either. You'll take the leopard from a deforested area, represented by this side of the river, to a healthier rainforest area, represented on that side of the river. Use the logs in the river to cross to the other side. Leave the leopard there, then cross back. If you fall off a log or lose your leopard, you have to come back to the beginning and start over. This'll be a breeze. You think? All right, everybody. Let's roll. Your daughter is really something. It's just a shame she's so overstressed. I mean, she's balancing school, a band, jetting all over the world. And all without any kind of schedule. Well, Polly has a schedule, just not a traditional one. That's true. But on some level, I think it takes a toll on her, John. It's a lot to ask of a young girl. You're worried about her. What? Oh, no, I like that. I knew you'd fall in love with her. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. I am worried about her. I know what this kind of pressure can do to a girl. I was the same way. And if my parents hadn't stepped in and done something, I'm just saying, you might want to watch. That's all. Yeah, I will. And thank you. Well, the whole person behind. And it's looking bad. I say we start distraction action. One train wreck coming up. Group Val, whatever we say, it's not real. It's only strategy. Stra strategy. strategy. Nice, guys. We're behind. This never would have happened if you let me go first. All right, because it always has to be about you. Maybe that's because I do most of the work. Is it my birthday? Because I am getting the best present in the world. A plunger? Because that's what I was going to get you. No. Polly Pocket's friends finally turning on her. Why would you get me a plunger for my birthday? I have 
written like 20 songs for this group. Yeah, but only three good ones. Oh, and everything you do is so great. Control this is free. strange. Polly and her friends never fight like this. Oh, they were kind of like this at lunch. And I hate to say it, but Polly seemed to instigate it then, too. That's so not like her. Something has to be wrong. Beth, it's your turn. We can win if you go. Are you kidding me? I'm watching the destruction of Polly Pocket's popularity. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's like seeing Haley's Comet. Does anyone have any popcorn? Keep it going. We've almost won. Ugh. I'm so glad she's gone. I'm so sick of her being so... so... Stuck up! Yes. I feel the same way as you. Why does she have to have her name all over everything? It's Polly Pocket. We get it already. And the way she's so friendly to everyone, like we really believe she's that nice. And even if she is, what kind of person likes everyone? I don't like everyone. I don't even like anyone. You know what I like. Bet you and Polly are fighting, which puts me straight at the top of the popularity ladder, where I will reign supreme. Let's hear it for Beth. <laughs> yes, yes, you like me. You really like me. And the winner of the river race, Team Pocket. Way to go, Team Pocket. And for your prize, you each get a day of beauty at the Twirl and Swirl Beauty Spa in the fabulous Polly World Hotel. Enjoy it. Yeah! <laughs> Great job, Polly. Congratulations. Thanks, Beth. That's really nice of you. No problem. Oh, hey, I met your future stepmom, and I like her a lot. You do? Oh, yeah. I bet when she marries your dad, your whole life will change. <laughs> Got a jet. Samuel's gonna help me go get an engagement gift. Meet you later. To collect our Oscars? Totally. Polly, do you have a minute? I was hoping we could talk. I I'd love to, Dad. But, um, can we do it later? The, um... My friends and I, we're gonna hang out. Your friends are going that way. Right. I meant my friends and I were gonna hang out after I did something else in the opposite direction. <laughs> Polly, is everything okay? I'm worried about you. I, I saw the... Everything's great, Dad. Honest. I just have to run. Catch you later? Sure. You said your parents helped you through a rough time when you were Polly's age. What did they do? They put me in boarding school, and it was the best thing in the world. I was a kid. I fought it tooth and nail at first. But without it, I can't imagine what my life would have been. That was very smooth back there with your father. I'm sure he doesn't suspect a thing. What was I going to say? Can't talk? I'm heading off to buy you an engagement present? Speaking of which, since when do you need my aid to help you shop? I'm not up on wedding etiquette. Like... What's the perfect gift to say, congrats on getting engaged? Wish you hadn't. Hmm. Could I be sensing a slight aversion to your father's fiancée? Maybe a slight one. What do you think of Lorelei? She seems to be an intelligent, attractive woman who makes your father very happy. You disagree? Lila thinks maybe I'm just jealous. But I feel like it's deeper than that. Every time I see her, it's nails down a blackboard. Ugh. I understand, but I think you should give Lorelei a chance. It would be good for you to have a mother figure again. Someone who's around all the time. Someone you can talk to, who's always there for you. Why would I need her for that? I have you. Seems we struck out on the engagement present. Yeah, but I scored on the manicure. Excellent color choice, S-Man. I hardly call picking one of the hands behind your back making a color choice. Polly, I can't believe we ran into each other. I was just thinking about you. Look, isn't it beautiful? I got one for myself, too. We can match. Let's wear them and go grab a bite, shall we? Thanks, but I'm 
gonna catch up with my friends. We want to squeeze in some rides before the next competition. Thanks, S-Man, for everything. I'll see you later. She's a wonderful girl. She'll warm up to you. It's only a matter of time. Really? Because I'm not so sure. I'm ready to step in and be a mother to Polly. But with you already filling that role, I don't see her making room for me at all. Do you? Samuel, tell me you're not really leaving. I prefer to say I'm taking a leave of absence. For how long? Oh, I don't know. I have many relatives on the continent I've been meaning to visit. <laughs> I can just make the rounds for a while. See where they lead me. Away! And that's not okay. I need you here. Especially now. On the contrary. I think now is when you need me here the least. Did Lorelai put you up to this? Not at all. This is purely my choice. Your choice? You're choosing to leave me? How can you do that? I... You deserve a family, Polly. I'd never forgive myself if I got in the way of that. Please don't leave me. Please. I expect you to write to me, not email real letters I can keep. It'll all work out, Polly. understand. Doesn't he care about us anymore? <sighs> Maybe Samuel leaving is for the best. What? I'm just saying, things are pretty stressful for you here right now. What do you mean? I want to make things better for you. Really? You mean... I made arrangements for you to go to an incredible boarding school. The best in the country. A boarding school? You'll love it. There's gorgeous grounds, an amazing music program. Everything you love to do is there. Go to a boarding school. I like my school, and I'd have to leave my friends. I know this is a big move, but I really believe it's the best thing for you. What if I say I won't go? I've already made arrangements. You start on Monday. This Monday? Dad, that's crazy. You can't do this. Polly, I know you're upset now, but I have a. I'm gonna go. I looked at clouds and watched them go They seemed to come and live with no regrets Is there a secret every season I don't understand. This is so not your dad. It doesn't even make sense. No way can he send you to boarding school. Maybe if we all go together, we can talk him out of it. No. No! I don't want to have to talk my dad into having me around. If he doesn't want me home with him and Lorelai, believe me, I don't want to be there. Not with Samuel gone. So this is our last weekend together? Probably for a while, yeah. I can't believe you're actually gonna leave us. I am still calling you every morning to plan my outfits. And I'm still calling you to come up with all the cool ideas for projects and trips. What's going to happen to the band? It's a new clue for a role like that. Ignore it. I'm not in the mood to play. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. eh. Okay, pity party over. It's not like I'll be gone forever. It'll probably be real strict at first, and then I can visit all the time. We'll see each other. We can rehearse. Yeah, it won't be the same, but it'll be okay. We'll make it work. I mean, we'll totally email you all the time. Every day, four times a day, ten times a day. 
and we'll keep you up on all the school scandals. And talk about you all the time in school, so it doesn't feel like you're gone. And we can visit you. We'll go up every school vacation. Exactly. And in the meantime, if this is our last weekend together for a while, I say we don't cave. Let's go out with a bang and win this thing. Shani, hit me with the clue. Start where you began. Do it all if you can. Start where you began? The front gates of Poliworld, right? Let's go! Where are you going? To get my video camera. If this is our last weekend together, I want to document every minute. Nice! You all remembered where you started, so now you just need to know where you're going. The whole park's lighting up. Exactly. Welcome to our extreme scavenger hunt, the Extravenger. To win it, complete every item on your PDA list in any order. Find one team member, the perfect outfit on Pollywalk. Oh, I wonder who we should get it for. Me! I wonder who we should get it for if we don't want the second most popular girl in school to get mad and torpedo our social lives. You. Check it. We have to ride the Pollywhirl. Yeah, awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's so yeah, fierce. Sweet. Great. Your PDAs will track your progress and give you credit for each item you complete. When you're done, race back here and step on this mat. The first team to finish the list and get on the mat wins the Extravenger. But you better hurry. You've only got two hours starting now. From the moment I wake up, having fun's the one thing on my mind. My favorite song. friends okay want to blow back to the rapids ride oh look if it isn't team pocket hope you weren't planning on winning because we're about to finish our last item the poly whirl later guys wait no way Beth is beating us on our last weekend together just promise someone will hold my hand
No fair. We were here first. Our car should go before th about going to boarding school. How did you know about boarding school? My dad just told me about it. I'm psychic. You are? Because I thought you heard it from Polly's dad's girlfriend. From Lorelei? All right! <laughs> the winner of the extravenger, Team Thrash! 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 Check thrash. it out, Team Thrash. For winning the extravenger, you get a free day of ATV riding at the Poly World Off-Road Center. So it all comes down to one final challenge at the live finale tomorrow night. A charity showcase in the Poly World Rockin' Arena. Each team has to put on an act for the show, and the winner will be judged by a special celebrity guest. Are you ready, teams? Yeah! yeah. Then what are you waiting for? The show's tomorrow, so roll out! I wonder who the celebrity guest will be. I hope it's Scruffy from Dump Patrol. Scruffy's a dog. Uh-huh. Okay, then. I'll tell you who the celebrity guest will be. My new best friend. Us? Us? No, you're my old new best friend. When we win and I meet the celebrity, they'll be my new new best friend. And you know what a celebrity best friend will make me? An anonymous source for gossip magazines? <sighs> More popular than Polly Pocket? But how will we win? Polly and the Pockets will probably play the show, and they're really good. We know how! We can show our mad barn skills. skills! Yeah, uh, that's great and all, but if we really want to win, we have to take out Polly and the Pockets completely! How? Not sure. But if they never show up on stage, there's no way they could possibly win. Clearly, Polly and the Pockets are playing the showcase. Playing it live on one of the biggest shows on TV? That's galactic! All we have to do is impress the audience and the celebrity judge. We will. Our music's fierce. Right, Paul? If Lorelai told Beth about boarding school, maybe it isn't my dad's idea at all. Maybe Lorelai just made him think it was and that he's doing what's best for me. Wow, that's hardcore devious. You really think she's that bad? I'm not sure. But if she is, my dad could be making the biggest mistake of his life. You have to tell your dad. Lorelai could say Beth just overheard her and your dad talking about it. But I don't think Beth was lying. Maybe Beth did just overhear them talking about it. Doesn't that make more sense? No way. You guys have to see this. I was going over the footage I shot today during the Extravenger. Check it out. No way. Is that Lorelai and Beth? So I went in digitally, then dampened the other sounds and brought up their volume. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about your plan to get rid of Polly without her dad realizing. Well, you keep it down. You promised to keep me in the loop. I see no loopage, so I have to ask. Is she going? The deed is done. Yes! And that's where the tape stops. We left for the wave pool after that. Shawnee, you are the most super supreme genius on the face of this planet. This is perfect. If I show this to my dad, he'll never marry Lorelai, and there's no way he'll send me to boarding school. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go. How sweet is this? They're together. We can bust Lorelai to her face. Uh-uh. I want my dad to see it alone, so Lorelai can't come up with any excuse. But they're gonna see us. Hide! Oh, thank you. For dinner? My pleasure. Not just for dinner, for everything. For making this past year the best of my life. For proposing, for bringing me here, for being you. Oh, you're welcome. For everything except being me. I can't accept thanks for that one. It's too easy. Don't be so sure. You're one of a kind, John Pocket. You're thoughtful, caring, warm, generous. That's why I fell for you. I'm lucky you did. I can't show my dad this DVD. What? I can't do it. 
I know what Lorelai did, but she makes him happy, and he deserves to be happy. So do you. You really think you could be happy with her as your stepmom? I'll still have you guys, and I'll still have my dad. And maybe boarding school will be a good thing. Even if Lorelai's married to my dad, I won't have to see her. But your dad deserves to know what she did. She's conniving. He doesn't see her that way. Look at him. He's crazy about her. I can't take that away from him. Oh, sorry, Shawnee. Oh, no! 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 What are you doing? So it really is our last weekend together. Yeah, it is. So I say we make it the best. Tomorrow's gonna be the biggest concert of our lives. I say we work it and crank out a new song for the occasion. You guys with me? Yeah! Rockin' Arena. Can you believe in just four hours we'll be performing here on TV in front of the whole world? Let's hit the stage! I knew they'd show up here before the show. Yeah, but did we have to sleep here to prove it? I think a bird built a nest in my hair. Nope, that's just my hair. Poor Polly has no idea that I have rigged the trap doors in the stage. The entire band will be trapped beneath the floorboards! <laughs> Ever wonder what you could accomplish if you used your skills for good and not evil? Not so much, no. Yeah, me neither. If we have to send you off, at least we're doing it with style. What you call bringing down the house? Is everyone okay? Flawless. But how do we get out of here? It doesn't seem like there is a way out. You mean we're trapped under here? Help! Help! This is really exciting. I know. I can't stop thinking about our wedding either. What do you think about chocolate ganache for the cake? What? No, I'm talking about the girls' performance. They're incredible. You're really in for a treat. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to roll like that? These teams have been neck and neck all weekend and are deadlocked coming into tonight's finale. It's up to you and your applause to help our celebrity judge decide who wins and whose charity takes home a check for $100,000. So without further ado, allow me to introduce our celebrity judge, star of stage and screen, Miss Caroline Hall. Caroline Hall. Oh, my soon-to-be new best friend. And when we're inseparable, I'll be more popular than Polly ever was. Okay, so please give a big roll like that hand to our first team performing tonight, Team Thrash! Yeah! What is that? Is that applause? That's applause! The show started! And we're trapped down here! where no one can hear us, and there's no way out. This is the worst. There has to be some way out. We just haven't found it yet. I won't let us miss our biggest concert ever. There 
little girl. For now. But wait till you see what I rigged up to help them out. Hmm. Is that really going to help them? Because I think they get in the way and make them mess up. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that was Team Thrash, everybody. Team Thrash. They think Team Thrash was a joke. We are so winning this thing. Our next team for the evening will be Team Pocket, bringing us the rockin' sounds of Polly and the Pockets. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Polly and the Pockets! This is it. With Polly and No Show, we are bound to win! This is a concert. Polly would never miss a concert. Where could she be? Ow! Chrissy, come on! You've got to help us look for a way out. I was! Until I banged my ankle on whatever's in this pile of clothes. Oh, it's a lever. Weird. chance to win this thing. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I said no, I said now. Hi, we need to talk. I'm a little busy now. Really? Because if I were you, and I knew that I know what I know, I know that I'd be a lot nicer to me. You know? Be right back, sweetie. Ladies room. Now? I'm only doing one song. Excuse me. Excuse me? You heard the girl. We need to talk, so you're getting out. But I'm... Messing with the family of John Pocket. All right, fine. But just don't touch any of the buttons in here. The cues are all set up. And look out for the cords on the ground. Y you don't want to trip. And remember, all this stuff is live. That blinking button Underwhelmed will... by your concern? Bye-bye. Here's the deal. I need you to make sure Team Beth wins roll like that. Why would I do that? Because if you don't, I'll tell John Pocket all your little secrets. Ooh, nice try. I'd deny it. He'd never believe you over me. Oh, I think he would. Thank you! Thank you very much! I think I can be quite specific about what you said, and anyone would believe me. Even John Pocket. Polly and the Pockets. What could you possibly say to John that would make him believe you? I'd tell him exactly what I heard. That you think Polly's too much competition for you. You wanted to get rid of her and ship her to boarding school. And you did it so her dad would think it was his idea. Go ahead and tell him. I have John wrapped so tightly around my little finger, he'd believe the world is flat if I said so. Yeah, right. 
I already got him to get rid of his snotty daughter and forget about his nosy butler. I'm all he has anymore. John Pocket is mine. Lock, stock, and diamond-plated barrel. John! <laughs> what a surprise! Uh, uh, how did you know I was here? We all know you're here, Lorelei. Every single person watching roll like that on live TV. And we've heard every word. I always knew that I'd look good supersized. Mm, no shocker here. John, I, I can explain. Don't bother. The engagement's off. John! Oh, well, I guess that leaves me. <laughs> Hi, world. As your newest sweetheart, I would like to charm you with my mad cheerleading skills. <laughs> Are you ready? Give me an R! <laughs> Looks like Team Beth is too incapacitated to participate tonight. So it's down to Team Pocket and Team Thrash to announce tonight's $100,000 charity winner, Miss Caroline Hall. The winner of this week's Roll Like That is... Team Thrash for their awesome Extreme Clown routine. Thrash! Thrash! Congratulations, Team Crash. You just won $100,000 for the charity of your choice. And for yourselves, we present you with a one-week cruise on Polly Cruise Line's So Hip Cruise Ship, a voyage you'll never forget. Now, until next time, everyone remember to... Roll like that! Roll out! And we're out. Okay, can somebody get me a bottle of water, please? Congratulations, guys. We're really happy for you. Thanks. Pretty crazy about your family, though. Are you okay? I will be. I just have to find my dad. We know. Go. Dad? <sighs> I can't believe I didn't see through her. I should have known she was playing me. I believed her when she said she wanted to be a mother to you. I believed her when she said you were stressed out and needed structure. I mean, moms know those things about their daughters, right? She wasn't my mom. I know. I don't need a substitute mom. I have you, and Samuel, and my friends. You're my family. And as long as I have all of you, I'm fine. I'll call Samuel and convince him to come back. Will I see him before I go? Go? Oh, oh Polly, no. no. You don't have to go to boarding school. I'll call tomorrow and get everything ironed out. I promise. Really? Thanks, Dad. You're a pretty smart kid, you know that? Hmm. I get it from my dad. <sighs> I can't believe we're leaving Polly World. Me neither. Think we can get in another ride on the Polly World? <laughs> Check you out with the roller coaster love. What can I say? It grew on me. Who'd have believed this would turn out to be one of our best weekends ever? It was certainly one of our most surprising. Hey, the fireworks are starting. Let's go grab a spot and watch. Of course, everything always works out for Miss Polly Perfect. I think it's Polly Pocket. This is the last time you get everything you want, Polly Pocket. Next time, and there will be a next time, you're going down hard! Who are you talking to? No one. Want to scare the ducks with our mad cheerleading skills? Sure! Until the last